How this piece of cloth can cause so much hatred, controversy, friction, squabble. Everybody's talking about it. In fact, everybody wants to ban it. But why? Is it because they think that the Muslim woman is oppressed? But I can speak perfectly fine. They think we need to be liberated, be free. They want us to be like the Western women. The so-called symbol of femininity. What? High heels, lipstick, short skirts. This liberates you? Is it because we dress the same, or because we look the same? The Muslim woman means so much more than just her physical appearance. We don't want to be defined by the way we dress. I want you to judge me by my intellect, not by how short my skirt is. Is it because you think we're forced to wear it? I don't wear it because my husband forced me to. I'm not even married! Or my father forced me to. I wear it solely because God tells us to, and we want to please him. We are subservient to God and not to the trends of fashion or society. But hold on, you say we're forced, but yet you force us to take it off? Is it because you think it's a communication barrier? Well, what does communication really mean? According to the Oxford Dictionary, it could either mean 1. The imparting or exchanging of information by speaking, writing or using some other medium. Or 2. The means of sending or receiving information such as telephone lines or computers. So how exactly does the car prevent this? Let's test it out. Testing, testing. We hear you loud and clear. It's clear to see when you're speaking to somebody, you don't have to see their face. Just like when you're speaking on the phone, you can't see them. So really, if you want to ban the new car, you should start with the mobile phones first. Is it because of the way we interact with men? Or don't interact with men? God tells us to maintain a boundary with the opposite gender. This is to prevent any form of promiscuity from either sides. Men are ordered to lower the gaze and we are ordered to cover. Besides, I don't want to be just another rape statistic. Or is it because we challenge the norms of society? Because we decide to stay covered whilst everybody else wants to uncover? We live in a society where the biggest industry is pornography and still increasing. And the status of women is slowly decreasing. Western woman is seen as merely a sex object. Exploited for her beautiful materialistic gains. Like selling a car? Or even selling a chocolate bar. Okay, okay. Enough discussion. I think it's time for us to tell you about the niqab. This piece of cloth that you call it, it honours me. It protects me. It tells me my body belongs to me, nobody else. Nobody can tell me how to dress, what to say, how to look, apart from God Almighty. This is true liberation. Liberated from the dictates of fashion and society. This is true freedom, being free from the submissions of man's desires. This is true femininity, because we preserve our beauty rather than being exploited for it. The symbol of oppression is not the Muslim woman, it is in fact the Western woman. Which is why we present to you Islam. We want to give you the solution for a society that is spiralling backwards. Islam is in fact the religion to take this society forwards. To finally restore the much needed honour, dignity and respect. Not to just women, but men too. In fact, all of mankind. And so to conclude, it's time for you and I to...